My name is Dan Owens. I'm a senior product manager in the tooling group here at Burndy. The purpose of this video today is to introduce you to the new line of Burndy torque wrenches. Specifically, we're going to provide you with an overview of the torque wrench product line, why using a torque wrench is important, overview of its features and benefits, why we selected this wrench series, how to operate the wrench. The torque wrenches were launched to provide a tooling solution for the Burndy mechanical connector line and to further enhance the Burndy engineered system cell. We've launched two torque wrench sizes at this time. These two torque wrenches will terminate over 95% of our entire mechanical connector line, ranging from 30 to 750 inch pounds. The two torque wrench part numbers are BTW30150 and BTW150750. The part numbers are descriptive. For example, the BTW30150 equals the Burndy torque wrench with a range from 30 to 150 inch-pounds. So why should you use a torque wrench? It's estimated that less than 10 percent of linemen, contractors, and installers actually use a torque wrench when terminating mechanical connectors. Many use a crescent wrench, ratchet wrench, pliers, or just about anything they've got lying around that will enable them to do the job quickly and easily. Furthermore, they don't see any problems with the way they're doing it now. So the big question, why use a torque wrench? Before we answer that big question, let's first learn a little bit more about torque and torque wrenches. So what is torque and what's a torque wrench? Generally speaking, torque is a measure of the turning force of an object such as a bolt. Simply stated, torque is a rotational force. Torque is typically expressed as distance times force, such as inch pounds, foot pounds, or newton meters. A torque wrench is a tool that applies a controlled force in a rotational manner around an access point. For our purposes, the access could be a servet bolt head or the recessed Allen head on a KAU. Okay, back to our big question. Why use a torque wrench? We use a torque wrench to terminate our mechanical connectors for the same reason that we specify dies and tools to terminate our lugs and splices. A torque wrench applies a precise, and consistently repeatable compression against the conductor to drop the resistance to a value low enough to provide a conductive, stable connection. You apply too little force and the connection is weak. The resistance goes up and you've got a very serious heat problem. Conversely, if you apply too much force and break conductors, it will lead to the same resistance and heat problems. In either case, the connection is unreliable and will lead to issues either immediately or sometime down the road. As you know, it's very common for most electricians to tighten mechanical connectors without the use of a torque wrench. Many good installers believe that they know how much to tighten set screw connections without using a torque wrench because everything works when they energize the system. What they rarely see is what happens a year or a decade down the road when the connection that was not properly installed begins to overheat and fail. These electricians aren't intentionally doing inferior work. They simply do not understand how important correct torque is to the safety and long-term integrity of the electrical system. It has been estimated that over 90% of electrical failures fail at the connection. How many of those connections would never have failed if tightened correctly in the first place? Interestingly, in controlled studies done across the U.S., it was observed that individuals with virtually no electrical application expertise whatsoever had the same chance of achieving a specified torque as did an experienced electrician or lineman. The result? Unless you've got a calibrated arm, there's absolutely no way to achieve the required torque on a mechanical connector unless you use some type of calibrated torque tool, such as a torque wrench. Bottom line, a torque wrench is an easy and inexpensive way to improve the reliability and safety of your electrical system. So let's talk about torque wrenches. There are many different kinds available on the market today. Beam, click type, electronic, simple plumbers, hydraulic, and deflecting beam. We elected to pursue the click type torque wrench. Here's how the wrench works and a review of some of those important features and benefits. This is called a click type torque wrench because it produces an audible click when the specified torque is reached. With this design, you can also sense an impulse felt through the handle. It's got a ratcheting head that's calibrated both clockwise and counterclockwise, which provides the user flexibility in confined areas 
and or when there's a tight center line spacing from connector to connector. The 3 8 drive comes with a quick release button that provides for a secure fastener retention as well as effortless removal. The micro adjustable scale settings are in inch pounds, which is the same scale that's already established for our connectors. As a result, there's no conversions you have to do and it makes setting the value on the torque wrench quick and easy. Spring-loaded pull-down lock ring and positive locking mechanism assure the user that the setting is properly engaged and secure. Every torque wrench is calibrated at the factory and individually serialized, providing the end user with the confidence that it will achieve the required torque. It's packaged in a black blow-molded case along with the operating instructions and a certificate of calibration traceable to NIST, or the National Institute of Standards and Technology. So how do you operate the torque wrench? It may be obvious, but we'll walk you through the steps. First, identify the required torque for your connector. This can either be found on the box it was shipped in or in the catalog. If for some reason you cannot locate the torque value, please contact Tech Services. In our example today, the torque value for the K2A31U-2N is 275 inch-pounds. For this value, we use our BTW150750. Again, the part number is descriptive. Set the value, hold the wrench with the zero value on the minor scale facing up, and rotate the shaft counterclockwise until you reach 250 inch-pounds. Now, while holding the shaft stationary, rotate the handle clockwise until you reach 25 inch-pounds on the minor scale. Release the lock ring and confirm that you can no longer rotate it. Your torque wrench is now set at 275 inch-pounds, 250 on the major scale and 25 on the minor scale. Okay, you've set the torque wrench, now onto the fun part. We've got our torque wrench, our connector, so now we need a correct fastener. For this connector, we need a 5 16 hex bit socket. Press in the quick release button and attach the fastener. Adjust the directional lever to the right. Insert your cable. Begin to ratchet the tool at a slow, steady pace while keeping the drive perpendicular to the connector. Continue ratcheting until you hear the click and feel the impulse. In most applications, you will be able to sense both. However, in noisy environments, you may not be able to hear the click of the torque wrench and you'll have to rely on the impulse generated. Stop immediately preventing any over torquing. When you've completed work with your torque wrench for the day, return the setting to its lowest value so as not to put undue stress on the internal spring. In summary, the importance of torque is gaining ground. It is now being taught at schools for electricians and being enforced by your state inspectors. As our end users become more and more educated, you will see the proliferation of torque wrenches in the field. Verndi is leading the way when it comes to a complete engineered system solution.